Monday, okay. This is day two uh, of inpatient treatment. Okay. Start. This is? 19 years old, female, red years old. Okay. Now the complaint was she is lethargic, always stay in the water and does not come out to bus. And also she is uh, having poor appetite, sometimes eat, sometimes don't eat for the last two months. Before that, the owner had fed her for one week those feeder fish bought from the aquarium. Now these feeder fishes are new. She had not eaten them before. The owner noticed that after feeding these feeder fishes for one week, she lost her appetite and became lethargic. And there, there was bloated skin from the flanks uh, in front of her hind legs. There's a skin there and it seemed to be bloated out, swollen. Huh? at that time and so because she is lethargic and not eating well he came to consult me yesterday so the rear slider has been hospitalized for one day and i gave her an injection of betrayal blast right under the skin yesterday i did feel that the left skin in front of the left leg was hard there was a hard lump there and the right hand side wanted to bite me yesterday and the right, right hand side the skin was okay there was no hard lump and no swelling okay we will fit now we give two pellets first and we see whether the appetite has returned or not she is neutrophil and it seems that she has appetite now but according to the owner she does have appetite but poor poor appetite eh? And what was the weight today? 1.42 Yesterday? 1.52 uh, So she lost weight And uh, as you can see She does have appetite This is Neutrophin which the owner feeds her Okay So we, we, let's count how many pellets we are going to feed her Did she eat it? Yeah. Oh, eat all? But she's not very active, so she doesn't swim towards the pellets. Uh. Some more. At least she's not swimming lopsided. And uh, if she can eat, then we don't need to give syringe feeding. But because she loses weight, so we have to syringe feed some critical care. And uh, you can see that it's not really that great. Uh. Now she stops eating again. Normally they will eat very uh, hungry they are very hungry okay so now we bring out and put on the floor put on the floor and see see whether she is active or not take out from the water keep the thing in your pocket now put on the floor Are we in front of me here here okay let's see whether she's active or not does she walk keep the keep the neutrophin no not not active at all but at least Quite alert. We will put upside down and see whether it turns or not. Put upside down. Now, normally the healthy, active ones will just turn upright again. They don't just lie down like this. Huh? So she's not. She's still lethargic. Okay, we put her back up upright again. Now, I will show. I will do the palpation on the table and uh, I will do the palpation put on the table here and uh, she will take over now yesterday what happened was there was a swelling here focus swelling here and uh, when I when you see the rear slider yesterday when I touched her she turned her head wanting to bite me you can see the other video now this one is not so swollen now and uh, she doesn't really turn her head to bite me now huh? see although she doesn't like it you know, there's some pain but she doesn't react so so uh, fiercely as yesterday now this is the left side if after eating the fish according to the owner this skin bloated out swells out uh, on both sides this side is so now this side is the right side 
the skin in front of the hind leg. Eh? Now this one definitely there is no no uh, heart swelling and no bloating and no pain, but not comfortable. She's not comfortable as well. You see. Now we can feel any eggs or not. Eggs we can feel if there is a there are eggs stuck there, but there are no eggs from the X-ray. So now we will show the feeding to make her put on more weight. Okay, just demonstrate the strange feeding. My assistant will, will strange feed, hold upright, and prepare the critical care slowly. Okay, wait a while and then put in water so that she can swallow and uh, that is nutri nutri pet plus critical care and some vitamins okay then we put in the water so that she can swallow did she spit out yeah she spit out again you see sometimes they hold the food they don't uh, they don't swallow huh? so she she did spit out about uh, maybe 50 percent yeah of 1 ml of the critical care plus pellet. So we will continue feeding about 10 ml per, per day or 20. Okay, now we go and see the x-ray. Come cover first. Now we'll go inside and see the x-ray. We did the x-ray yesterday and uh, open the door, see the computer. Now take, take this. I will switch on the, the relevant uh, article. Now it should be on. Okay. Okay, this this is the 19 year old female slider yesterday. It came in. Of course, it don't look much different than it is today. This is today's. And uh, now, this is today's uh, picture. You can see it, it's quite alert. There is no uh, no respiratory disease in the sense that there is no rapid breathing. And uh, you see, generally, you can see it's quite quite alert. Huh? Quite alert, no swollen eyes. And uh, we did check the mouth yesterday. There is no ulcers. Overall, she's just lethargic. You can see that she's lethargic. But it's not so bright. Okay, now I'm, I'm showing the, the side. Uh, the side. Okay, the side you can see that uh, this is the right side. This is the, the, the bloated skin which the owner complained about after eating the feeder fishes about two months ago. He fed her the feeder fish for one week and, and then she noticed that he noticed that this part of the skin is swollen. Okay, wait, I'll go back again. Now this is the left side, as you can see a lump here. Did you see a lump here? And today it's not so painful, yesterday it was very painful. He was trying to, she was, he, she was trying to bite me yesterday. Okay, now we look at the x-rays. X-rays, let me see. Okay, this x-ray yesterday, taken yesterday, this is the, the top view. Now this is the right hand side. Now x-ray can't tell much about the lumps uh, because they are not radio dense but we can see that th this is uh, the part where it was painful before I give the prep and B3 yesterday and uh, this part is not painful and there is no hard lump and both sides don't have bloated uh, area now bloating could be due to, to fluid, uh, fluid or or gas in the intestines. Now overall you can see there are no eggs. The, the rear slider lay eggs about uh, three months to four months ago. She lays two batches of eggs twice a year. And uh, but as you can see, actually there are no eggs there. And uh, overall this seems to be more cloudy the, in, the inside of the, of the body. So it could be an infection, uh, septicemia. Now we look at the Lateral view, you can see it's really cloudy. This part should not be cloudy. Now this part you can see here. This is where the the vent is. There seems something something stuck there.
take something thick here. Now this part, this is the throat. This seems to be okay. Uh, but this is the part which is really radio dense. And uh, this could be either fluid or some infections. Huh? But the, the lungs are okay. There's no, no difficulty in breathing, no extended neck. So there's no resp respiratory disease. And the red gas cell can swim level, it, it doesn't swim lopsided. So the diagnosis is pro probably infection from eating the feeder fish, and those feeder fish got stuck in the in the intestines and and also causing infection. So don't feed feeder fishes to your red gas slider as she's not used to it. Now she has been eating she has not been sick for 19 years and now she's not eating so the owner is very worried and so the likely diagnosis is uh, infection of the intestines huh? due to the feeder fish being not healthy or, or disease from them so we may need to deworm the red ear slider as well so this concludes for the day 2 of uh, of the inpatient study of this radius slider.